So, what did Funko do last year? They released two waves. Oh my god. They released the Easter wave, full of recolors. That came right after the Security Reach wave, which was repurposed molds, but technically new molds and not recolors. And then after the Easter wave, the Dreadbear wave. Oh, <gasps> Dreadbear? Oh, we love Dreadbear, huh? Yeah, we love him. So, what does Funko do? What do they follow up the Dreadbear wave with? Well, the tie-dye wave. That's right, the tie-dye wave. Now you're probably wondering, why are they going back to recolors? They just made a whole wave, a whole new wave, a whole new real wave. Why would they go back to recolors? Well, this video is going to be answering that for you. So, Funko's new system. Let's look all the way back to the Blacklight wave. So after 2017 had passed by, we had a lot of dead space, you know, not a lot going on after the sister location wave. So, 2018 comes around, and Funko kicks off the year with the Blacklight Wave. Now, you're probably wondering, why would they make the Blacklight Wave? I think they're trying to start a system, because after the Blacklight Wave, they released the Pizza Sim Wave, which was all new. Then after the Pizza Sim Wave, they release the Glow in the Dark Pizza Sim Wave, which was recolors. Then they released the Security Breach Wave, which wasn't recolors, as much as you would like to say they are. And then after the Security Breach Wave, they do the Easter Wave, which was more recolors. Then after the Easter Wave, they do the Dreadbear Wave, which was not recolors. And now they're doing recolors again. So you can probably understand what they're doing. They're doing recolors, normal, recolors, normal, recolors, normal, recolors, normal. They're just gonna alternate by wave, and I'm fine with this, honestly. I think it's fair, you know? It gives us more stuff, and yeah, I don't know. I think it makes sense, but that being said, oh boy, we're getting a tie-dye wave as the first wave of the year, and then after that, we're getting a FNAF AR wave. Funko, what are you doing? All the security breach hype, you're not capitalizing on it. Makes, there's so many new characters that people really want. Why are you not capitalizing on the security breach hype? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, it just feels so obvious to make the daycare attendant, the, the, the sun and the moon, to make the staff bots, to make Vanessa action figure, to make a Glamrock Freddy action figure with a redone sculpt, to make a Gregory, to make a freaking um, do, 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 do map bot, I don't know, do the freaking wet floor sign, do the, I don't know, anybody from Security Breach, really. Burn Trap, do the blob, I don't know, make a jumbo plushie of the blob, people like that, you know? There's just so much for you to do with Security Breach. Even though you've already done a wave on it, you can make another wave on it easily. It's the same situation that they had with Pizzeria Simulator, but they're just not doing it. So, I'm really hoping this is going to be like the Dreadbear wave, where they're going to skip Security Breach wave 2, but then eventually they're going to end up doing it anyway. I feel like that's definitely what they should be doing, because if that's not what they're doing, and they're just straight up gonna skip the rest of the security breach? That has gotta be like the worst mistake Funko has ever made. Like even bigger mistake than like doing the character choices in the Pizza Room Simulator. Like that is just dumb. But the, anyway, let's talk about the tie-dye merch that's coming out. So we're getting more tie-dye plushies. We're getting a full wave. This is unlike the Blacklight wave and the Spring Colorway wave. These are all over, all unique characters. We're getting Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Funtime Foxy, which is the set from Wave One. Um, yeah, so pretty cool, right? We're getting all these guys, all unique, but that's tie dye. There's so many different ways you can tie dye something. It confuses me greatly how they're gonna handle the tie dye. Like, like seriously, I don't know how they're gonna pull that off but honestly curious very curious 
Then we're gonna get more pop pens, which is something we haven't gotten since the Blacklight Wave, so that's kind of neat, I guess. And they're gonna be Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy pens. No cupcake this time around, which is kind of disappointing. And then we're gonna be getting more mystery minis and more action figures. The mystery minis, it is unknown if the mystery minis are gonna be tie-dye or not. I'm hoping they are not tie-dye, and the mystery minis end up being something else besides tie-dye, because we don't need a whole wave of mystery mini recolors. We just don't. Like, mystery minis are so, like, that's just not the type of toy line you do that with. The blacklight wave, it was a little more sensical, but then they never did it again, so that was fine. But then they did it with the Pizzeria Simulator Glow in the Dark Wave, and it sold horribly. So I feel like there's a chance that this could just not be, uh, th this could not be tie-dye, and it could just be the real Wave 7 of Mystery Minis. What the theme is gonna be, I don't know, maybe Help Wanted, maybe Security Breach, who knows. But, whatever this is, Mystery Mini Wave is, I think this is the most likely not to be tie-dye. And then they're gonna be tie-dye action figures too, which I am excited for just because I like action figures. So, definitely gonna be reviewing this stuff, but very odd that it's getting made in general. I don't know. And then, <gasps> there was a third leak. So we got the FNAF AR leak, which is coming after this tie-dye wave. Then we got the tie-dye wave, which is coming pretty soon. Now we got this leak. Are you ready for this? Boom! Yes, this is legit. They are making Security Breach Wave 2. I was just teasing you the whole video. It's happening! Ah! Just kidding, this is fake. I made this. Haha! -ha. But, I know that was fake. But did you see how excited you just got when you saw that? <gasps> I know! Security Breach merch! This is my form of activism. Go to Funko's product suggestion form and I want you all to spam them to make a Security Breach Wave 2 of action figures with the new characters. List whatever Security Breach characters you want. Just request action figures of Security Breach characters. We need more merch for this game. This game deserves justice. It got so shat on with the original merch. It needs something better. So please, just spam their product support um, suggestion form, you know? It didn't work for the Withereds, but it worked for Glitch Trap and Help Wanted, so maybe it'll work for Security Breach. Who knows? Let's just try it out, you know? Let's just, you know, we need this. We don't you want the daycare attendant? I know you want the daycare attendant. Even if you don't like Security Breach, I know you want the daycare attendant. Let's just, let's just go, I'll link in the description and in the pinned comment. 